There's a new systematic review on soy protein intake and athletic performance that I want to highlight. The researchers only included randomized controlled trials on active healthy individuals ages 14 to 39. A total of 19 trials met their criteria and evaluated the impact of soy consumption on muscle gains, exercise performance, hormone response, and or metabolic and antioxidant status. Of course, this review covers a lot of ground, so I'm just gonna be covering some of the key takeaways. Regarding muscle and strength, soy protein was effective for supporting gains, and more notably, was similarly effective to whey protein when total protein intake was 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, which is the typical recommendation for strength athletes. And this is supported by a study I've discussed previously where vegans supplementing with soy protein were able to achieve similar gains to omnivores supplementing with whey protein. There were also some trials investigating exercise performance of athletes competing in various sports like boxing, cycling, and soccer, and soy protein generally performed better than placebo and similar to whey protein or carbohydrate sources. Although the specific performance test varied a lot from study to study. As for hormones, there is no good evidence that soy increases estrogen or decreases testosterone, contrary to popular belief. And this is in line with results from previous meta-analyses on the topic in both men and women. Lastly, soy protein supplementation generally had favorable effects on exercise-induced oxidative stress when compared to whey protein, although whether or not this leads to better outcomes such as faster recovery requires more research.